Good morning and welcome to this, your Saturday morning edition of Hey, that Power WF thing is kind of cool. So today I want to show you the Deploy to Agent feature, uh, which is already in the builds, but we won't start rolling out the uh, license keys for this until early next week. Uh, but uh, let me show you this feature now anyway. We're going to take a workflow that we created last week, uh, which is a PowerShell script converted into a workflow, just you know, using drag and drop, uh, Power CLI script. And uh, this particular one gets uh, ESX memory usage and shoves that data into a property grid. So let's just hit play and take a look at this data. And, and uh, this is the data that we're going to be, this is the workflow uh, we're going to move to an agent. Now, I don't want to just run it as an agent and bring up a property grid every five seconds. Obviously, that's not very useful. But what I will do is instead of sending it to a property grid, let's delete that activity. And instead, let's send it to perfmon. There's two perfmon activity. We have two parameters to fill out, and one is category name, which is, you know, where can I find this thing under perfmon once it's there? So we'll call it ESX memory usage. And the second thing we need to do is give it a primary key. Now I know that I want to use the name as the primary key, um, but uh, you know, you can use the drop down list to figure that out. So let's just hit play. And now instead of going into property grid, the same data goes into perfmon. All right, so now it's in perfmon. So let's bring up perfmon just so you can see that it's there. There's nothing up my sleeves. All right, so let's look for ESX memory usage. Right there. And you can see the instance there. We'll hit add. And there are the numeric pieces of data that were in that property grid are now in perfmon. Now, clearly, we don't want to hit play over and over again. This is where an agent would be really, really useful, right? So let's go ahead and deploy it to an agent. So this helpful dialog comes up. We can use uh, several types of scheduling. Uh, for this demo, we're just going to do a really simple three-second timer and run this task over and over and over again. So we say, OK, at this point in time, uh, it's been deployed to the agent. So let's use the agent monitor to take a look at this task. <coughs> and you can see some basic information about it. It's on a three-second timer. Uh, it took three seconds the last time it ran. It's run twice now. It's currently running. You see the last start time, last stop time. It is running right now. So if we take a look at Perfmon, uh, we'll see the number move around. Of course, this is uh, a, a number that doesn't move around very much. So let's go into our vSphere and power up a machine and hopefully move that, move that number around a little bit. All right. So that machine is powering up. We should see this percentage. And I'll highlight the number here. We should see that bump up a little bit once that machine comes online. And sure enough, the demo is going to work. <laughs> I had confidence the whole time. Um, but anyway, seriously, this is a pretty simple operation that's happening. We're just running this workflow uh, in this agent every three seconds. Uh, this could have been you know, doing anything. In this case, we're just taking data from, uh, uh, from PowerCLI and shoving it into Perfmon, which in itself is pretty useful. If we wanted to edit that task, we just double click on it from this, a this agent monitor. And then we could go back and change the timer, and that would take effect right away. Or we could delete it, tell it to stop. But that's it. That's, that's the feature. Take any workflow, and instead of deploying it to a console app or something else, we can deploy it to an agent. So uh, again, I uh, look forward to start rolling out those license keys early next week. Thank you again for your interest in PowerDWF. Please keep downloading the betas. Keep uh, tasting this out and helping us make this a better product. Please keep, keep giving us feedback. Go into the forum. Tell us what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see. Uh, and, uh, and we'll keep working on this product and make it rock by VMworld. So, again, thanks a lot, and uh, keep watching these videos.